So this is how you can replicate the success of this $100,000 Shopify dropshipping store for your own Shopify business. Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Camille Sutton, known as the Ecom King. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you and showing you how you can replicate the success of this Shopify dropshipping business doing over $100,000 a month. Now, how this is gonna work is I'm gonna be showing you the website of the store doing over $100,000 a month. I'm gonna be showing you their best selling products. I'm even gonna be showing you the product on AliExpress. I'm also gonna be showing you their Facebook ads, what other marketing platforms they were using to really scale their business. I'm also gonna be telling you about the key principle that they used in this Shopify store to be so successful. So the whole point of this video is for you not to copy the website, it's for you to understand how this dropshipping website thought outside the box instead of the most common dropshippers going with the same products all the time and how they took these key principles that took them to $100,000 a month. So if you're interested in getting your Shopify store to $100,000 a month, then this video is very important because it's gonna teach you the main principles of how starting a new dropshipping store in an unsaturated niche like this one is gonna help boost your sales to that level. So I'm gonna be doing three 30 minute consultation call giveaways on today's video and all you need to do to enter the giveaway and to activate the giveaway is you need to comment why you wanna win the giveaway. You also need to like the video and as soon as we've hit 2000 likes, I'll be picking three winners from the comment section below. to show you is the numbers of this Shopify store because as soon as people start seeing the numbers of revenue and profit that's when they take things extremely serious so as you guys can see on the screen I'm on this website called flip it and flippers where you come to list your Shopify store or your e-commerce store once you want to sell it and as you guys can see this store started over two years ago it's net profit every month around about twenty four thousand dollars which is insane if you think about it you've started a Shopify store two years ago and at the time you're a university student so the person that owns the store I believe was a uni student and they started it two years ago and now their net profit is around about $24,000 a month let that sink in guys Shopify dropshipping is not a joke then if we scroll down you can see the financials of the annual revenue which is $743,000 and you can see here the annual profits just shy of $300,000 that's not bad for a yearly amount of income in net profit so if we scroll down to the bottom of this website it will go over what included with the sale of the store and you can see where it says inventory it says na which stands for not applicable meaning that there's no inventory because it's a drop shipping store so now I've shown you the numbers of this Shopify dropshipping store and how quickly they've achieved those numbers. I'm hoping you're taking it extremely serious now. And as you guys can see on the screen, this is the website of the dropshipping store and it is in the dog niche. Now the dog niche is one of the most saturated niches, but they've took a twist on it because it's all about dog portraits. So you take a picture of your dog and they put it on one of these really cool portraits that are really fun and really cute. So as you guys can see here, it is a niche store because they're selling not just just dog portraits they're selling dog books they're selling dog cups they're selling dog socks and the cool thing about this store is it's not just a drop shipping store they're also doing print on demand so when people ask me can you do print on demand and drop shipping here is your answer they've combined the two together and it's blowing up and I'll show you the proof why I know they're doing print on demand in the next few moments so if we scroll down they're talking a little bit about how the process works now this store is originally been done in French and I've had to translate it so sometimes a translation is not always perfect so you can see here this is how the process works choose the suit for your dog with over 150 customs to choose from you can now find the canvas that best represents your pet's personality upload one or more photos of your pet we know you have hundreds once your order is made we'll receive a preview of your canvas before printing for approval so they're going over how it actually works and then they've also got a link to how it actually works in full description now I'm going to be showing you how you can do the same process for your dropshipping store if you You've got some ideas now of how you could recreate this in your own store you could take the purpose of this store and instead of doing it for pets you could do it for your children instead of doing it for your children you could do it for your family so it could be a family funny portrait store so you don't have to copy this door and I would say please don't copy it but you can also take the ideas and put it into
into a different type of portrait store. So before I show you their best selling products and the rest of their website, let me show you the apps that they've got currently installed. And you can see one app they've got is called Order Tag, which I'm not too sure how that works. They've got Tiny Image SEO Optimization, which compresses the images. They've got Recover Lost Carts, which is an abandoned cart recovery. They've also got the Upload Fields Upload Upload Kit. So this is the app that they're using to upload the customer's information from the dog photos and the names so then they can sync that to their supplier. So this is the app that you need if you want to do custom portraits for your store. And I'll be going over this a little bit later on. They've also got Clavio installed. They've got Luke's reviews installed. And make sure you check out the Ecom Kings deal. So the apps that I'd recommend are on that website and it gives you exclusive deals and discounts on things like Luke's reviews because you do need them. Then you've got Lucky Orange, which basically shows you the activity of somebody on your website. So you can see where they're leaving your website, what's causing them to actually leave, what's causing them to buy. They've also got Privy Pop-Up, which is basically like pop-ups they got frequently bought together they've got advanced product page optimization which i'm not too sure about what that does they've also got an affiliate marketing app they've got an sms marketing app and they've got trackify for their pixels but most importantly you can see they've got printful installed on their shopify store which is the pod app they're using for their canvases their socks their t-shirts and other things so now this shows you that they're selling their main drop shipping product but they're also upselling people on their pod merchandise which is absolutely absolutely amazing. So these are their five best selling products since the history of their store. And you can see the dates range from 2019 to 2020 and it's now 2022. So that shows you how powerful these products are. Now the five best selling products, four of them are dog pictures and one of them are cats. So this is a cat picture right here. And I'm guessing that's for cat lovers. And then the other four are different breeds of different dogs. Now I think depending on which ones are the best sellers depends on which are the most common breeds that people are buying. Now, obviously, there's loads of different dog breeds, and I think it's dependent on which breed has been obviously targeted more on Facebook ads, Google ads, and have obviously bought the actual dog portrait. Now, the most common dog breeds are things like Golden Retrievers, Spaniels, so obviously, they're going to be more likely to sell because there's more people that own those type of dog breeds. So that's what makes this dropshipping store so clever. They've worked out what the most popular dog breeds are, and they've made sure that they've got these on their website because they know these are going to be the best selling ones. So if we take a look at one of their product pages that are selling one of their best selling products, it's called the General Outfit. Now, as you can see on the screen, they're showing a Jack Russell breed in the General Outfit. If I'm correct on that dog breed, do correct me if I'm wrong. And how this actually works is you're buying it for 25 euros and obviously it will depend on the size that you go for and the style that you're going for a canvas or a frame photo. And then you upload your image to this button here. When you click it, it will ask you to upload the image of your dog and then they will create your dog into the general outfit and you can see here like i said i think this is a jack russell but if you scroll across it shows you the other dog breeds i think this is a labrador or a golden retriever in these you can see this one over here i think that's a chocolate lab then they've got a cat in it then they've got this type of poodle or some form of poodle then they've got a spaniel here in it so they're showing you all the different dog breeds in the general outfit then if you scroll down it shows you this frequently bought together and they're trying to get you to buy a mug with the portrait which is their pod sort style of the business so they're mixing the pod with a drop shipping store which is helping them with their average order value because the average order value on this store is around about 70 euros and as you guys can see the product itself is around about 25 and you can see here this one as a bundles around about 54 so by understanding their average order value most people that are buying from the store are buying more than one canvas or they're buying some canvases and some pod products that they're selling the rest of the product page just talks about how it works the perfect gift for your friends or family then it goes over some more trust badges then they've got the luke's reviews of all these different dogs or cats or animals in the general outfit so if we take a look at their how it works website page you can see here they've got an illustration talking about the three-step process and obviously it's in french so i can't understand it then they've got here step one place your order choose your portrait style we have portraits for both male and female pets upload your pet photo using the upload button on the product page make sure your follow follows our photo guidelines listed below Hello. Step two, create your custom pet art. Our experts designers will create your custom pet portrait with care and attention. We use primarily design techniques to transform photo editing and professional blending processes in our design, how to produce your canvas with paint from 
scratch. We are a digital design team. We will perform initial quality control to ensure your pet artwork is absolutely perfect. Step three, print and delivery. We will print your animal print on a masterpiece onto the product that you've chosen. Once you have carried out the final quality check, we will carefully package and order and send out to your doorstep. We will receive your tracker number for your product as soon as it is available. Then they talk about the photo guidelines that you need to follow as a customer to make sure that you get the perfect quality image of your dog portrait. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this and showing you guys this is because if you wanna do something similar, like a portrait shop where you're doing family portraits or sister portraits or whatever portraits you're doing, it could be literally anything, you're gonna to wanna to understand this process because you're gonna be doing the same process on your store. So you need to have something similar like this on your actual website to clarify to the customers how everything works. So as you guys can see on the screen, I'm on AliExpress and this is one of the AliExpress sellers selling these custom pet animal portraits. And as you guys can see, this dog is in the general outfit and this is the same one on the other website that I just showed you. And you can see on their variants, the sizes that they've got no frames and frames. And you can see these are the same ones that they had on their website. So this is why I'm very confident they're using one of these suppliers for themselves. And as you guys can see here, they've got different variants of different costumes that you can put your pets in the same way they did on their website. So if we scroll down and see how it works, you can see it says here how to customize. Send me your HD pets pictures and body number by AliExpress directly and we'll design according to receive the pictures and give you confirmation before shipment. So as you guys can see here, it's showing you how to do this. And as you guys can see, it's showing you right here how it turns your pet into this custom photo so you can see it right there now the best way to automate this process if you want to go down the portrait industry and this could be not for just pets and i don't recommend you just copy this website you could do it for family portraits where you put babies into outfits like this as an example be really imaginative and think outside the box now how it would work is you need to install an app like ds's which is a product mapping app and it's also a fulfillment app and what you can do is you can create custom mapping where you can set up a APIs where it all happens automatically and you don't even need to do anything manually and if you contact the supplier they can help give you instructions on the best way to automate this for your drop shipping website. Now they could recommend the best apps for you. They might give you API keys that you need to install on your website, but the best thing you guys can do is just contact the supplier. Now I also wanna show you this gig that I found on Fiverr and all I did to find this gig is I typed in dog portrait and it came up with this salad. And as you guys can see, it says here, I will do a custom pet portrait, dog portrait, cat portrait. And you can see here, he's got three different packages. Now if we go to their premium package, you can see here it says VIP offer for bulk orders for POD shops, which stands for print on demand. And this one's coming in at around about 25 to 27 dollars you will get eight orders and high quality 300 dpi pet portrait best print ready so you can see here that this is a very likely scenario that that website is using the hundred thousand dollar a month website is using to get their pod portraits done for their pod products now again you don't need to be copying the exact same dog portraits you could do this again for family portraits where instead you're putting animals in here you're putting babies faces in here or family faces in here you've got to really think outside the box but i'm just showing you logistically and fundamentally how this actually works so now I want to show you how this dropshipping store advertised their products to hit over $100,000 a month. And I'm also going to show you some unique marketing platforms that they could have utilized to actually increase their revenue and profit. So the first thing that I want to show you is that they've got a Snapchat pixel installed. So you can install a Snapchat Chrome extension that shows you if somebody's got a Snapchat pixel installed and you have to have one of these if you want to run Snapchat ads. So you can see they've actually got a Snapchat pixel installed. Now that tells me that they've been running Snapchat ads and it's not very easy to work out if somebody's running snapchat ads because it's no such thing as a snapchat ad library you just have to guess and the reason why i'm guessing that they are is because why would you have a snapchat pixel installed if you're not going to use it so my guess is they have been using snapchat ads and snapchat ads work very similar to tiktok ads in terms of the business manager the ads manager the type of content that works really really well on there so if you've got ugc content which stands for user generated content the type of content that works really really well on on TikTok, that does really, really well on Snapchat as well. Now, if you wanna see a full Snapchat ads tutorial, let me know in the comment section below. And if we hit 5,000 likes, I will make one as soon as we hit 5,000 likes. So I do believe they've been running Snapchat ads. And like I said to you guys before, all you need is UGC content. In terms of setting up the campaigns, it's very similar to TikTok. 
So bear that in mind if you want to try Snapchat ads out before I release a full tutorial. So now let me show you their Facebook ad library and show you the different stars that they're currently running that make them so successful. And I believe that Facebook ads is one of their main, if not their main revenue generator because they are running a lot of ads on this platform. Now let's start breaking down the ads. You can see this image ad here where you've got a guy holding up his custom canvas. So it's like a UGC image where the guy's holding his own canvas and it's an image of his cat in one of these portraits and it's a really nice high quality image and you can see here I don't speak French but you can see here they've got a promo code right now so they actually tell you the promo code to put in the checkout in the ad headline and then you can see this one here which could be a retargeting ad which is an image of a few different actual portraits and then they've got a family one here showing that there's a family that owned this dog and they've had a portrait of him here and they're going over the promo code and this looks like a retargeting ad to me then if we scroll down you can see here they've got another video and if we play this video you can see this is what it looks like and it's showing you a video of all the different portraits that they currently offer on their website and this is really going to show the user that's seeing this that it doesn't matter what pet you've got what style you're looking for they've got everything for you now if we take a look at their next video this could potentially be a retargeting video you can see here they've got the five star trust pilot for trust they've also showing you people's reactions and emotions as soon as they're receiving their pet portraits to show how happy they are and this is going to encourage you to buy the product because you're seeing people's excitement from it straight away so this is a very powerful video then if we take a look at this image ad right here it's a really clever way they've done this they're starting to advertise their pod products which is their mugs and they've got an image of the canvas in the background to try and upsell you on both of them but they've got these mugs where they've got the dogs coming out of the mugs and this is quite easy to do on photoshop or if you hire somebody you can get something like this done and it's a very emotional image because as soon as somebody sees that they're going to think that's super cute and adorable and they want to get one of these for themselves now by just looking at those few ads that these guys are running they're absolutely crushing it with the content they're producing the content is super amazing in terms of the quality the way they're testing UGC testimonial videos high quality images they're doing absolutely everything in such an unsaturated marketplace and audience and that's why they're absolutely killing it right now so I hope you guys have learned some lessons when it comes to types of content you should be creating for your Facebook ads and just any other ad platform now something else that I did on the Facebook ad library and this was to try and see if there's any competitors to them is I typed in dog portrait to see if there's anyone else that are selling dog portraits in that type of style and there isn't actually anyone else selling these dog portraits so you can see if you scroll down there isn't really anyone that's doing them they're actually custom portraits so for example this one is actually a custom portrait where it's actually being done by hand there's actually no direct competitor that I'm able to find on the ad library when I search for keywords like dog portrait animal portrait cat portrait unless I'm not searching for the right keyword it just doesn't look like there's anyone really competing with those guys now what i've done is i've headed over to tiktok to do some research to see if there's any organic videos of people publishing them about this type of niche or to see if there's any interest in this niche on tiktok now i don't believe that they're running ads on tiktok because i wasn't able to find their tiktok pixel so i don't believe they're running ads on tiktok which is a massive opportunity for anyone that's watching this that can create a similar niche in a different type of style let's say baby portraits or something like that because they're not captivated on tiktok ads now what you want to do to see if tiktok ads could be a good option for your stories i've typed in dog portrait to see how many views these type of videos are getting. so you can see here this woman's drawing a dog portrait and it's got 5.1 million views you can see this other dog portrait's got 22,000 views this one's got 400,000 this one's got 3.4 million views and the reason why you want to look at the views based on the keyword is to see if there's any mass interest in these types of products or videos because if you're going to run ads on tiktok if the organic audience isn't there then your ad isn't going to work because there's not even an organic audience there in the first place so this is a good way to find out if it's a good option and by looking at the view count this is a very good option on tiktok and it looks like it'll be a low cost option when it comes to competition now, if we take a look at some Google shopping ads, there are a few people advertising these custom pet portraits, but I think there is a room in the market for a unique way of doing it. So you can see here, these images here do show the pet in the outfit, let's say the general outfit like this one here, and it's a totally different company. So there are competitors, but they're using Google ads. But the one thing that 
isn't being done is they're not showing that this could be a custom portrait. They should have an image of the Google Shopping where it shows an image of your pet and then it shows you uploading it to the image. So it's like, it's just showing you, you like, you're just gonna buy it like this and you're not getting a custom one. Now, although it does say custom in the actual text, it would be more powerful to show it in the actual image itself by saying custom image or custom pet or showing it uploaded compared to not uploaded. So I think there's a room in the gap for that because there are all the people doing it but there isn't that many so you can see this one here is one of them doing it and it's by bet canvas art and this is what i'm trying to talk about having an example of what it looks like when you actually add it over now there are a few competitors on google shopping and i think this is where most of them are advertising so i think that it's a hit and miss trying google ads but i do definitely recommend trying it if you're going to do it so one of the most powerful ways to advertise these products on a low budget and a very powerful way i would say is probably influencer marketing and the reason why i'm saying that is because pets are a very emotional thing to people same as children and i feel like pet influencers are very unsaturated but have massive audiences that buy based on passion buy and they buy it because they're emotional impulse buy and you can see here i'm on collab star which helps you find influencers and i love collab star because it's completely free and you can see here platform i've chose tiktok instagram category i typed in animals and pets followers 50 to over 10 million and you can see here it's coming up with loads of different influencers in the pet influencer niche that could potentially partner up with to actually get some of these influencers to start promoting it. So how this would work is, I would probably partner with some of the best influencers. You can see it showing me the platform, Instagram, TikTok. Now, if you want my honest opinion, TikTok is better than Instagram right now when it comes to views, website visitors, purchases. So I would lean more towards TikTok, but, get, but ask the TikTok person if they've got Instagram and if they can do them on both platforms as a custom offer. And you can see this one here is a relatable married and everyday life creator. So it probably doesn't tick my box, but you want to look for people that are really pet surrounded influencers you can see here a comedian on tiktok but it shows an image of her and a pet but you want to try and find somebody that's posting pet content every single day or every other day to do a collab with and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get them a custom canvas made of them and their pet so you could get a custom canvas of their pet done in one of those outfits send it to them and then pay them to promote it on their tiktok and then that way you're going to get really good uh, influencer marketing around that product. So this is probably one of the most powerful ways to do it because I feel like it's gonna be such an impulse buy on these type of influencers. Now, how I know that is because me and my business partner, Jasmine, did a store back in 2020 or 2021 where we sent a similar product of a cutout of a family to this really big influencer. She posted it and we did over 50K in one single day, which was insane. So that's how I know this could be very, very big for this industry. And again, it doesn't just have to be for pets. You could do this for babies. You could do this for other industries similar as portraits. Portraits are gonna be a very passionate industry. Now, I wanna show you YouTube because I feel like YouTube's also a very big audience to captivate on. So you can see here, I've typed in dog vlogs. And what you wanna do is you wanna find YouTubers that post a lot of content about their dogs. And what you wanna do is you wanna do the same thing again, which is send them a product of the actual canvas and their dog. And what you could do is if you really wanna play it clever, you could just find their PO box by going to their about section and looking to see if they've got a PO box address and sending them a custom portrait of their dog. And what you could do is you could print screen this and send it to the supplier and get it done and then send it to their PO box and they might do a shout out for free for you. How cute of a gesture it is to send that influencer without messaging them a custom portrait of their dog to their PO box, you could get them to promote you for completely free you're just having to pay for the canvas. So that's how this Shopify store is doing over $100,000 a month with around about a $24,000 profit margin. And I hope you've understood how I've broke down this website to be so successful. And to break it down to you again, the two key principles is that they found a unsaturated niche in a saturated niche, which is the pet niche. And they found portraits being very unsaturated. And then they've advertised them in a market, which is the French market or the French speaker market, which is also very unsaturated. That way, they're able to scale very aggressively in a short amount of time, which is just over two years. So the key principle to this, guys, is find products in saturated niches that are not hot right now, and then also advertise them in countries that are not mass sold to, like the top five, which is US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. And the other thing you need to take away from this is make sure your ad content is very, very powerful, and also use platforms that not many people are using, like Snapchat. These guys are using Snapchat ads. You want to try that out. Try Pinterest 
Pinterest ads out. Think outside the box. The whole point of this video was to help you guys think outside the box and get you to think way beyond the typical dropshipping that most people are gonna push onto you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget about the three 30 minute consultation calls. As soon as we've hit 2000 likes and you've commented, it will activate the giveaway. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let me know what you thought of today's video and do correct me on the dog breeds if I did get them wrong and I'll catch you guys on the next one.